The Quran rightly says that hijab prevents the woman from being molested. And after this, the glorious Quran says that if any man rapes a woman, capital punishment, death penalty, the Westerners may say, death penalty in this age of science and technology, in the 20th century, Islam is a barbaric religion. People may say. But when I ask this question to the Westerners, I've gone this several times, that suppose someone, God forbid, rapes your wife or rapes your mother, and if suppose you are made the judge and the rapist is brought in front of you, what punishment will you give him? And believe me, all of them said, we will put the rapist to death. Some went to the extreme of saying, we will torture him to death. So I tell the Westerners, why the double standards? Somebody rapes somebody else's wife, you say, oh, death penalty is a barbaric law. Somebody rapes your wife and your mother, you say you want to put him to death. Why the double standards? Only one person, one Westerner so far, has given me a different answer. You know what he told me? That first, I will give the rapist, if someone rapes my wife, I will first give him seven years imprisonment. And next time if he rapes my wife again, or he rapes anyone, then I will give death penalty. There are some smart Alex, you know, who give new answers. <laughs> there are smart Alex. So I told the brother, do you know the statutes of America? They tell us that when a man is convicted for rape, the American government says, seven years rigorous imprisonment. But the statistics tell us that those people who are even convicted and undergo the punishment, after they are let free, 95% of them again commit rape. So I told that Westerner, that American, if you like your wife to be raped again, you are most welcome to give seven years and then put him to death. I wouldn't like that. I would put him to death on the first time, irrespective of whether he rapes my wife or your wife. If you like your mothers to be raped again and again, you can try that law. And then he got the shock of his life and I told the statistics. He said, if that is the case, then even I would put him to death the first time. Islam has the solution. You know, today in America, according to statistics, according to the FBI statistics of 1990, it said that throughout the year, in the year 1990, 102,555 cases of rape were reported. And it said that out of the cases that were reported, only 16% of the total cases were reported. If you want to know the total number of rape that took place, multiply the figure by 6.25 and you get the an answer of 640,968 cases of rape took place alone in the year 1990. If you divide this figure by 365, the number of days, every day on average in the year 1990, 1,756 rapes took place. I read another statistics later on, which said that every day more than 1,900 cases of rape take place in USA alone. The year was not given, maybe it was 92, 93, the Americans got more bold, you know. 1,900. That means every 1.3 minute, one case of rape is taking place. You know, I'm here since more than last time. Already, more than 40 rapes may have taken place in USA. I'm here for one hour, and 40 rapes may have taken place in USA. And the statistics of FBI, 1990 continues and says that out of those cases that were reported, 16%, out of those reported, 10% were arrested. That means 1.6% of the rapists, they were arrested. Out of those arrested, 50% were let free before the trial. That means only 0.8% of the rapists, they underwent a trial. That means if a man commits 125 rapes, the chances that he'll undergo a trial and get a punishment is only one. 125 rapes you commit and you get a punishment once, it's a very good gamble, you know. 125 rapes you commit and chances the government will give you a punishment is one. It's a very good gamble. And out of those that undergo a trial, 50% get a punishment of less than one year. Though the American law says, seven years rigorous imprisonment. But the judge said, at the first time he's committed rape, now give him benefit of doubt. Let it be lenient. 125 rapes he commits, he comes to the trial once, and the judge says, let's be lenient, first time he's committed rape. These are the statistics of FBI of USA.
I'm asking a question. If you implement the Islamic Sharia in USA, that every man when he looks at a woman, he should lower his gaze. When any brazen thought comes in his mind. The woman should wear Islamic hijab, complete body covered, except the face and hands of the wrist. And after this, if any man commits rape, capital punishment, death penalty, I am asking a question. Will the rate of rape in America, will it increase? Will it remain the same or will it decrease? It will decrease. It's a practical law. You implement the Sharia and you get results. And Islam, Alhamdulillah, as I said, has the solution to the problems of mankind.